Would you like to improve the definition of your abdominals? Of course you would. I mean, who wouldn't want to have a lean set of six-pack abs? Hey there, my name is Lee Hayward, and in this video clip, I'm going to share some training tips that you can start incorporating in your own workouts to help improve your abdominal definition and to speed up fat loss. All right, tip number one is how you prioritize your ab workouts. Now, a lot of people, when they go to train abs, they usually save it for at the end of their weight training workouts. And I've been guilty of doing this myself, so I'm not pointing fingers at anyone. But I mean, how often have you went into the gym, trained your major muscle group, let's say you train chest, back, legs, arms, or whatever, and then at the end, you throw in a few sets of abdominal exercises. After you're already fatigued, and after you're already ready to call it quits, basically, that's when you go in there and throw in some extra ab exercises. But if you're serious about developing a lean, tight midsection, then you need to prioritize your ab training. So what I suggest you do is just reverse the order. So instead of saving your abs until the end of your workout, hit them right at the beginning when you're fresh. Do it as part of your warm-up routine. So you can go into the gym, probably do some cardio just to get a general warm-up, get a good sweat going, and then jump right into your ab training. Just changing the order and doing your abs first will allow you to dedicate 100% effort to them and you'll get better results from your ab training. Now the first exercise we're going to do with our ab workouts is target the lower abs. This tends to be the stubborn area for most people because it's the hardest area to work and it's where we tend to store a lot of stubborn body fat in the lower abs. So what I'm going to do now is some leg raises on the leg raise station. This is a fantastic lower ab exercise. Now when you're doing your leg raises, start off with your legs straight. This is the hardest variation of leg raises because it places the most tension on the lower abs. When your legs are straight, you have the most leverage and, or I guess the leverage is actually to your disadvantage because your legs are straight and there's the most tension on your abs. Then as you start to fatigue, what you want to do is bend your knees and this will make it easier and you'll be able to continue on with more reps and really burn out those lower abs. All right, now Trisha's going to help me out here with the, the next exercise. Now what she's going to do is frog kicks or V-ups. And this is very similar to the leg raise, works the lower abs, but it's an easier variation. There you go. So she's lowering herself out, straightening out her legs, and then bringing herself up just like a V. So you may hear this exercise referred to as a V-up and some people refer to it as a frog kick. But it's a great exercise that targets the lower abs and it's a bit easier than the leg raise just due to leverage. Excellent. And this one also engages the upper abs to a bit of a greater degree because you are bringing your upper torso together as well. But it's a great move, great abdominal exercise. There you go, excellent. All right, so what I'd suggest you do is choose one or the other. So if you can do leg raises, then by all means, go ahead and do the leg raises. If you find that a little bit too challenging, then do the V-ups instead. Now we're gonna move on and do some work for the upper abdominals. And one of my favorite exercises for the upper abs is the decline bench sit-up. I find this move provides constant tension on your abs. You really don't get a break with this move because throughout the entire range of motion when you come down and when you come all the way up, your abs are under tension. Now the key is you don't want to let your back rest flat on the bench at the bottom. You want to keep a little bit of tension there so your back is slightly off the pad at the bottom of each rep. And that will keep constant tension on your abs during the entire exercise. Okay, so another variation that you could do in place of the sit-up is just crunches on the stability bar. There you go. Uh, this targets more the upper abs, just like the uh, decline bench sit-ups targets more the upper abs. So what I recommend you do with your ab workouts, structure them so that you're doing your lower abs first and then move on to upper abs after because that's the order of the difficulty. Obviously lower abs is more difficult than upper abs. Alright, great stuff.
Next in our workout is an abdominal crunch machine. And I'm using the hammer strength machine here. And this is one of my favorites because it engages both the upper and the lower abs simultaneously. And it allows you to work your abs under resistance. So if you have this machine available at your gym, by all means you should incorporate it into your ab workouts. Okay, so another ab crunch machine here, Trish is demonstrating. And when it comes to the crunch machines, just use whatever machine you have available at your gym. I mean, every gym is going to have different abdominal machines, and they're all basically going to do the same thing. They're just going to contract your abs under resistance. So make do with whatever piece of equipment you have available. Like say, if you have the hammer strength one that engages both the upper and the lower abs, that's great. If not, by all means, use a machine like this. This one primarily just targets the upper abs, but the lower abs still come into play to a certain degree, just helps stabilize your torso. But again, just make do and use whatever crunch abdominal slash machine that you have available. And with these, I recommend shooting for a rep range of 15 reps. That's a good range to use when doing uh, the resisted crunch machine. All right, great stuff. So when you're training your abs, another thing you can do, and I highly recommend it, is to pair up training your lower back after every couple ab exercises. It's good to train your lower back with your abs because it just helps keep your core in balance. So what I'm going to do is throw in a set of hyper extensions after every ab exercise. Trish is throwing in a set of hyper extensions as well. And in addition to working the lower back, this also heavily works the glutes and the hamstrings as well. So it basically works the entire back of the body. And it's a great exercise to incorporate with your workouts. Like I say, you can throw this in with your back workout, you can throw it in with your ab workout. Uh, I find it's just a great move. The more, more often you do it, the more results you'll get. All right, great job, Trish. So to recap this workout, choose three different abdominal exercises. You don't have to do every exercise that we've shown you here. Just choose three. One move for the lower abs, one move for the upper abs, and then choose a weighted abdominal machine. And in between each abdominal exercise, do a set of hyperextensions for your lower back. And as for the sets and the reps, start off doing two sets for each exercise. And each week, add one set to every exercise until you're doing a total of five sets for each move. And keep your reps between 15 and 25 per set. If you feel you can do more than 25 reps, then slow down the rep speed and focus on really squeezing your abs hard with each rep. The abdominals tend to respond better to constant tension and squeezing and contracting the muscles rather than simply trying to lift heavier weight or perform more reps. Now the exercises shown here in this video will help to develop the abdominal muscles. But if you want ripped six-pack abs, then you need to lose all the excess body fat that's covering those abdominals. So if you want some help with a fat loss program and diet plan that's really going to help to strip off that excess body fat, then you should pick up a copy of my Extreme Fat Loss Program. And you can actually get this as a free bonus when you become a member of the Total Fitness Bodybuilding Inner Circle Coaching Club. So if you want to get some more information and pick up your own free copy of the Extreme Fat Loss Program, just go to TotalFitnessBodybuilding.com for all the details.